Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I am bringing you all another Dollar Tree haul. I'm super excited about this particular haul. Um, I needed to do some shopping for some home decor and one of the things I like to do is check out Dollar Tree first to see what type of items they have and to see if they might have what I'm looking for because to get home decor for a buck it's always a great steal. So yeah, I checked out my local Dollar Tree before I went to my local Walmart to see what they might have had. There were some frames at Walmart that I was eyeballing for a while. They were pretty inexpensive. Um, I think they were like five bucks per frame, but I needed to get like, I think like seven or eight of them. And I just didn't want to spend like $40 on picture frames. Like, I don't know, I like to save money. And so um, the size of the photo I needed to frame is I think a 10 by 13. And so I was like, let me just see what Dollar Tree might have. And you guys, they actually had what I was looking for, which I was quite shocked about. Now granted, um, these photo frames isn't the exact size I need. So this frame is actually a 11 by 14. Sorry for the glare there, but they're an 11 by 14. But yeah, look at this photo frame. Really nice, really simple. Um, you know, you have to be really careful with these type of frames too because they do break very easily. But I mean, for the size and a dollar, like where else are you gonna get this at? I think I got these exact same frames from Walmart. Again, $5 each, but I think I had only got four and they were all like, you know, 20 bucks or whatever. But $5 versus 20 bucks, I'll take it, okay? And so with these, um, what I plan to do is the 10 by 13 photo. I plan to center it in a way where it has that white space around the corners, right? I normally take this, um, what is it, the stock photo, I flip it around so it's like a nice white background, and I'll take the picture and kind of center it to where, you know how they have those, I guess they're called like floating, I don't know what it's called, but like that, that white space in between the photo. Um, I've done it before with frames that are too big for the photos that I need, and it's worked beautifully. So yeah, super excited to have these. I picked up not one, I have a whole bag of them. I'm gonna just show you all the bag because that's gonna be easier. Cause these things are kind of heavy. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I picked up seven of these frames so you guys can see. I'm not gonna show them individually. They're all the exact same. But yeah, I have seven of those. Super excited to have those. Um, I also found an eight by 10 photo. And um, I got this cause it had like that silver um, outline and it just seemed kind of simple and sleek. And so um, in our living room, the color scheme is uh, silver and black. And so I got these just in case I needed to hang a photo downstairs. So happy to have that. And then you guys, I was actually really shocked to find this item at Dollar Tree. I did not know they carried it. I was happy to find it and feel grateful to have it. And this is photo paper. Did you all know that they carried photo paper at Dollar Tree? One dollar for eight photo sheets. Like, I'm very impressed with that. It says suitable for inkjet, inkjet, I can't even talk. It says suitable for inkjet printers. Um, what else does it say? It says heavyweight paper, dries instantly, scrapbook, safe, acid free, bright white paper, nine mil, nine mil. So the size on this was is eight, eight and a half by 11. And again, this doesn't actually fit a standard photo frame. So this is an eight by 10, this is eight and a half by 11. So this photo will be slightly too big for this frame. But again, you guys, I'm not afraid to cut photos. Um, and a lot of times, if you all look at photos that you take, a lot of times there's like dead space around the perimeter of the photos. And so I'm okay with just like cutting the photo down and fit inside the frame. I mean, for a dollar, eight, eight photo pages, like, and I have a printer and I have like an ink service where we only pay like 10 bucks a month to do unlimited printing essentially. And so, yeah, to be able to have this and print as much as we want, like <laughs> buy Walgreens photo, buy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna still use them. But yeah, I was just happy to, <laughs> happy to find this right here. Um, and at first you guys, I picked up like one or three, actually I picked up like three of these at first. And I was like, you know, you're really not gonna find this again. I've only ever seen this at Dollar Tree once in my life. And they had a stack of them. It was 15 of them. And I was like, you know what? That's not a bad deal. So for 120 pieces of photo paper, I paid $15. You're not gonna find that anywhere else. So yeah, I picked up the, all they had, which is about 15 of them. And here they are right here. So <laughs> yeah, quite happy to have this. Yeah, for 15 of these and getting them for a dollar, you can't beat it, you know? You just can't beat it. So yeah, super excited to find these. 
and I'll be definitely be printing a lot more photos these days because I mean photo paper is expensive so I'm just really happy to have found that so I don't know if you all have seen the wall decals at Dollar Tree before but I actually I've used them before um, I'll try to insert a picture of what one looks like um, here in my home office slash YouTube studio and it actually looks really good for something that you only paid one dollar for um I put this one up um I would say maybe like three or four months ago it's not peeling off the wall or anything like that so yeah um the one that I have up on the wall that says uh, pray more worry less so like I said I'm gonna insert a photo of this so y'all can see what it looks like but um these are a few other ones that I got just to kind of you know um, you know spice up some of the pictures I'll be hanging up around the house so it says love makes a house a home and this is what it looks like really beautiful and then that's what it's supposed to look like on the wall so I like how they have it in between two photos just a little inspiration there the next one says uh, bless this home with love and laughter so that's what this one looks like All right and then that's what it's supposed to look like on the wall they're really cute. I like them. They're they're cute. They're simple. The next one is like an infinity sign and it says love. I will love you to infinity and beyond. So this is something I'll probably put in our bedroom over like a picture of me and my husband or something. And that's what it looks like on the wall. Really nice. Cool, fold, cool little uh, wall decals here. This is the last one here. That's what it looks like. So it actually has three decals on it. This is one. This is one. And this is one. And um, this is what it would look like on the wall. Yeah, so these are really cool. Um, I like these. Like I said, I've used them before and they actually work great. Uh, so far, the one I hung up has been hanging for like, you know, three to four months. And it's going strong. So I highly recommend those. Even if they only stay on the wall for like a year or two, like, that's still worth it, you know. So, yeah. So that's pretty much all the items I got. One more thing here that I purchased was some storage containers. Um, so these are the ones that I got. Um, Dollar Tree actually has a good variety of storage containers. I actually got some that have like really cool colors and schemes. I got a few that were like teal, blue, and gold. Some that were gold and gray. I've since already like put those away where they, where they are. I might try to take pictures of them so you'll see them, but I got those in addition to these right here. And these are just like some standard black ones. Um, I got the kind of boring ones for my um, like uh, linen closet and my guest uh, bedroom closet and things like that. Um, and then I got the more decorative ones for like my personal closet and then um, here in my YouTube studio, just kind of like keep things organized you know but yeah this is what they look like they're great with like a little black candle i'll be honest the quality of these aren't that great um so you you don't want to load this with something that's super heavy um and if you do load it with something that's super heavy you want you want to keep it where it's at um but i really use this for like um so for instance in my linen closet i use it to kind of organize my my big bath towels from my hand towels to my washcloths and to organize uh, some of my medicine and things like that because they actually have some that are like half the size of this and so the shorter ones I keep to organize medicine and things like that so these are really cool um, I do recommend them the only time I've ever gotten some of these from Dollar Tree is um, that that were of really great quality was the ones that had the sequins on it I'm not sure if I did a haul video on that or not but um, actually I have some right here this one right here so don't mind the stuff that's in here. I have a um, empties video coming up soon. But uh, these right here, these were of really, really good quality that I got from Dollar Tree. I don't know if I called, if I showed these in previous videos when I actually hauled them. I got a lot of them. I think I got like six or seven of them. And I'm actually really happy that I did because the quality of these are actually really good. Like these are empty perfume bottles and, you know, they're holding, holding it really nicely. Um, these right here wouldn't be able to do that. It has to be lighter items than this. Um, but here I just have three of them, but I had got like a ton of them. I probably got like maybe 10 of them. And like I said, I've just been organizing the entire house. So yeah, I think that's it for this particular haul. I hope you all enjoyed these videos. Definitely check out your local Dollar Tree to see if they might have some decor items that might fit the scheme of your house, the color scheme, the decor, etc. And save yourself a couple of bucks. You don't have to go out there and spend a lot of money to make your house look good. People see these items, compliment me on these items all the time. 
and you know no one ever knows that it's from Dollar Tree. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you all found some goodies at your local Dollar Tree. I'm always interested in seeing what they have because the cool thing about Dollar Tree is that you can go to one and they don't have what you need but you can go to a completely different one and they'll have everything you need. So definitely check out different locations too. But yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video and I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the Big Happy family and as always leave me some love in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!